Hi, we got this flash drive today from uh, another data recovery lab. They sent it in. Presumably this is an 8 gig uh, flash drive. And over here we have a PS2251-67-5 controller. So what could be the things that are not working for this device? I guess the best thing would be to plug it in and test it. So I have my uh, power supply hooked up. So we get 0 0.03 and then it drops down to 0 0.01. Okay, since we know that our device is not shorting out, we can safely plug it in for further testing. So power up. So right away we get this message. If we clear the log, the device aborted, aborted initializing. Now, two things that could be potentially happening here. It could be something related uh, to the controller, but I'm going to say most likely uh, the problem is inside of the NAND, uh, which is where all of our data is kept. So let's go ahead and remove this chip and uh, try to work it directly. We get the PC3000 connected to it. PS2155-67-5. Read ID. Yeah, so it is a Toshiba ID chip. And it looks like there's only one part to it. Let's just confirm that this unit uh, is 8 gigs. Parameters flash chip parameters basic yes so 8 gigs everything is good let's inspect the um, the chips content real quick uh, read chip gonna read it direct first apply and now we can go into page designer and select bit view oh we got bad pages maybe yeah you guys see these vertical lines those vertical lines are shifts in the um, uh, in the data. Now they occur because uh, from the factory the developer uh, hide hide some defect defects in the uh, memory, and those areas are simply skipped. Uh, there are a bunch of ways how these things could be removed, and you, you can see there are two planes here. When the number of uh, skipped um, bytes equates by the end of the um, range our service area lines up um, but then we got shifts again so and if it's not an equal amount then we end up with the shift of a service area like this 
so it's nothing to worry about at this point uh, these um, will have to be removed either automatically or manually we're just gonna go ahead and read it as default so once the reading is done let's have a look at what we got so we're looking at the original and we have the shifts now we're looking at the automatically removed bed bites cutting um, and shifts had been removed so you see the vertical lines are all aligned let's go ahead and try to find air correction codes as you can see uh, the read is very very clean so all, almost all of the uh, um, pages are being read and fixed all right so we're almost down there with the air correction let's build a map let's see what we have to reread possibly so out of 32 uh, we got 32 megabytes of bad sectors you can try to reread those let's do like 10 Okay, I guess let's try to build a mix uh, and then if we still need to run error correction we can set uh, the last 30 megabytes to get corrected overnight set it up to like 100 passes and uh, set it to read really slow but thorough and uh, the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to find what type of XOR this, use, uh, this device uses right so we go into tools no sorry disk inspection XOR analysis it gives us options right away so the XOR ID uh, 171, 186, 1503, 1619 and try to select them all and now it's gonna try to validate them by applying them in different parts and see which ones actually are the most suitable options for us okay this is good enough um, it actually offers us to apply page transformation right away to save time and not have to do this manually we're gonna actually accept this and uh, let's have a look at what we're finding uh, we're gonna run raw recovery launch this and see what type of results we're getting and pay attention to this section here and look at the file sizes that we're getting if they're coming up with good size or if the size is too small you can see that it's finding some JPEGs but they're very very small still uh, that means there's got to be some sort of uh, um, interleaves happening so we can just go ahead and apply this element so it splits it by the block and joins it to check whether or not we have interleaf involved we can go into here and scroll and it looks like we have it let's just gather up some more data in here and then we can move on to the next step maybe run it to like 15 percent 
I, mean, that's, I think that's good. So if we look at the JPEGs, we see there are some red ones, there are some green ones. Uh, we do have quite a bit of bad sectors here. So if we go in and open up a file, I can see that it opens up fine. So our mix is good. This is a full size image. If it opens up, that means it's good. If it doesn't open up, chances are it's still got um, bad sectors in it and uh, they will most likely need to be corrected. So let's go ahead and see what kind of um, assembly we can use in this case. What do we have for translation function of this unit? Um, I don't see anything specifically in extensions, uh, but what if we go into translator and select Fison? Uh, this is going to be 2251. Let's try to see if this can work. And voila, we have a flash drive built. We got a partition coming up. We have root and we got folder structure. All of the files that have bad sectors will be saved into a separate folder structure called main not work. After the recovery is completed, uh, it will generate a report sh showing how many files uh, it saved, and how many of them may not work. So there we have it. Uh, report shows that there are 418 folders, 10,000 and 270 files making up 3.49 gigabytes and all of them are perfect uh, we have no bad sectors everything is restored using the translator the recovery worked out beautifully uh, this is the type of result that I wish for every single recovery and uh, this procedure was fairly small I gotta say that uh, I probably spent all in all um, no more than an hour and a half finishing this up and uh, now the client can be notified and um, get excited about the good news if you guys lost data on a similar device and you need it uh, recovered feel free to check the link in the description box all our contact uh, all of our contact information is there uh, we'll be happy to help for those of you who follow this channel uh, on a regular thank you guys again for watching as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode.